Good morning everyone, Eric here with EastIdahoNews.com. I'm currently standing on US Highway 20 where a crash between a uh, two semi-trucks here right at the interchange with Interstate 15 has caused a fuel spill and a significant traffic backup. So the crash is right here between the two trucks and the Idaho Falls Fire Department has arrived to uh, work on this fuel spill here. But when you look in the westbound lanes here of US Highway 20, uh, Idaho State Police and Idaho Falls Police Department have it completely backed up and the traffic backs up further than I can see. So I can't tell you exactly where that is uh, backed up to right now, but it is quite a uh, distance back from the interchange here of US Highway 20 and Interstate 15 in the westbound lanes. It looks like the traffic is being diverted off right here um, in Idaho Falls, but the crash here has led to fuel spilling on the highway again from this crash up here and firefighters are working to keep it from going into storm drains and things like that. But um, strong smell of diesel fuel here coming from the crash. So we'll kind of walk up here. We don't know exactly what caused this, uh, but this would have been roughly around 10, 15 to 10, 20 this morning uh, when this crash first happened from when we first heard the call here for the fire department to come out and help. But right now they are working to clean up that fuel spill and the eastbound lanes of US Highway 20 are down to one lane. So there um, isn't quite as much traffic. Things are flowing through. And someone asked, which fuel hauling company is involved? This isn't involving a truck carrying fuel from what we can tell. This is just two semi trucks with trailers on it. Um, if you can still hear me, it's a little loud here with the traffic, but it's two trucks with a trailer. So there's this one truck here with the trailer and we'll come over on this side in a second truck was involved in this incident that resulted in the fuel spill. So the second truck appeared to have hit the side of this trailer here and the fuel spill has worked its way down here in the westbound lanes of US Highway 20. So westbound lanes would be if you're driving from Rigby to Idaho Falls, running in a north-south direction here uh, in eastern Idaho. But um, the westbound lanes are blocked right now. They are diverting traffic off at one of the exits here um, around that. So if you are driving this morning, uh, it's advised that you don't drive through this area just because of the extensive traffic with the blockage here. So if you kind of look on the ground, the fuel has spilled from this white truck from what we can and the fuel has moved down. So I'm being told now that the fire department's gonna get us um, some more details as they can right now. But this, the Idaho Falls Fire Department did respond with this ladder truck here to help stop with this fuel spill and they were putting some uh, absorbent material down this way towards a storm drain to keep it from spilling into there. So if you are driving this morning, uh, US Highway 20 right here at the interchange with Interstate 15, if you're going eastbound, which is from Idaho Falls to Rigby, that is down to one lane right now. Traffic appears to be moving through very well, but if you're going westbound which would be from rigby to idaho falls that uh, has significant traffic backed up they have everybody going down to one lane and are sending them off here at the exit it appears from what i can tell they're sending people off uh, onto lindsay boulevard here at the exit into idaho falls so there will be some traffic being rerouted through that area uh, with help of Idaho State Police, Idaho Falls uh, Fire Department, and Idaho Falls Police are all here right now. So they're working at getting some of these cars that have been stuck here for several minutes while they work on this fuel spill and clean everything up. They're working to back them up so that they can get off. 
that's another thing too the on-ramp here at Lindsay Boulevard is also blocked off right now onto US Highway 20 so we don't know exactly how long this will be but we'll continue to provide updates as those become available if you download east.news.com you can find it all there <laughs>